G'day everybody, welcome back to Enshrouded. Hope you guys are doing well, we're still here at the old base because, well, I spent a little bit of time between episodes gathering up some materials and creating the blocks that we need to continue our build. Uh, hopefully we've got a sufficient amount. Uh, let me have a look here. Oh, actually, sorry, we only still have the 24 uh, flintstone blocks. Let me just quickly make some more. Yeah, rough flintstone blocks. We need quite a few more, so I did gather up the flintstone, so there's obviously uh, one or two flintstone deposits nearby. And I was wanting to just show you guys if uh, this is your only exposure to um, Enshrouded. Then with the last update, there's a whole bunch of different icons now that we can use for um, creating markers, so they've expanded on that. Unfortunately, I don't really see any way for us to name any of these markers. It'd be nice if that was a, a thing like you can with Belheim, so you know exactly what's there. Uh, and instead you just need to sort of leave icons, which we have been doing obviously. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's helpful to know exactly where you need to go for, you know, a particular resource for example. But I digress, um, I suppose having different icons may help you understand what's there. Um, yeah, and I guess maybe if you're really uh, deep into, you know, uh, Enshrouded, you would probably get used to um, knowing where certain resources might exist uh, depending on the biome, right? So like tin and stuff for example is available in the Highlands. Anyway, um, I'm gonna start the episode by continuing our build. Uh, obviously we spent quite a bit of time, uh, you know, carving out the basement. Probably we're not quite finished yet with carving out the basement. There's probably a little bit more to go, but um, I'm going to put a pause on that and um, do a little bit of extra building here on the outside. Um, thinking of just getting the wall set up uh, as we want it and then from there we can sort of uh, decide on what to do next so uh, that seems like it's sort of jutting out excessively mm, yeah not not quite so let's maybe turn the snapping off and yeah let's see if we can get the the walls in correctly here Just going to take a look outside as well, making sure that uh, nothing's protruding. Okay, decent. Uh, we do need some kind of a doorway in this space, so... Um, I suppose... Maybe just quite simply here, or maybe we can do something like that. That seems alright. And yeah, let's continue with more walls obviously, so maybe one of these pieces here. Good. Uh, that's not right.
All right. Now that we've done all of that, I also just want to talk about, uh, I guess the, the rest of this build here. Technically, this is supposed to bring us sort of inside the, uh, the side of the mountain. So it's supposed to sort of join to the side of the mountain. Uh, obviously we don't want dirt, um, being a, you know, a feature in the house itself. Uh, but I think the way I'm thinking about it is we probably want at least one more, um, uh, one more floor block in terms of square space, uh, into the mountain. Uh, so I'm going to start by carving that out in the basement. And then from there, we can sort of make a decision on uh, how the the upper sort of or the ground floor uh, is going to um, go up to. And then we'll start sort of enclosing the space a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, let's do what we can. Okay, that looks good. And then let's get in an actual floor. Uh, no, those are roofs, a floor. Oh, we want weathered blocks or weathered stone blocks. Yeah, good. Brilliant. All right, so that should act like a bit of a blueprint, if you will, for uh, what we're trying to achieve here. So I'm going to increase the size of this space uh, based on, you know, what we've got going on on this side. So we'll just carve a little bit more out this way and we'll continue with the ground floor as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, folks. So we're looking pretty good when it comes to the carving out of the side of the mountain here. I think we just need to do a little bit more up top here. Um, but we're also going to start looking at putting the um, the floor down and also more walls, obviously. So, um, but yeah, I think I may have jumped uh, ahead of myself uh, a little bit here. So haven't exactly finished what we needed to do. Um, might help if we actually know where the walls are coming up to. Um, and that might inform the snapping to do the right thing. Yeah, something like that. Alright, looking decent. Let's just get another wall set up on this side. Uh, might also be a good idea if we just place down a, um, a floor here as well. But yeah, trying to be a little bit careful and not uh, accidentally take away, um, you know, too much of the the soil that it looks unnatural, if that makes sense. Okay, looking good. Uh, things are obviously going to be a little bit challenging when we do decide to put a roof over this structure. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, I think just a little bit more. Yeah, okay. We need to carve out the side over here. There we are. Brilliant. Okay. So let's get more floors in. Okay, and we'll leave this hole here because that's where we want the stairwell to sort of start. Um, again, gonna have to cross that bridge when we get there, figuring out how to, um, you know, get the, the stairwell to go down. And, well, obviously there's going to be a second story to this building as well. So I think this will also be the stairwell, or this will be roughly the location of the stairwell that will bring us up as well. But yeah. Plenty of space here in the ground floor, in comparison to the other house that we've already built, obviously. So, let's get more walls going. Brilliant. Okay. It's a bit dark in here, um, but I think we can still do a little bit more work. Let's get a floor.
Nice. Uh, I guess we failed to carve this little bit out, so <laughs> let's just fix that. I think we actually have a floor above us already, so that's good. Just need to put the walls in. Very dark on that side. So let me just borrow that. Okay, looking good, uh, but considering the time, uh, I think it's probably a good idea for us to just head back to the other house, have a sleep. Now it is very tempting to just do an entire episode of building, guys. I'm not entirely sure if I really want to do that this episode. We might mix things up towards the middle of the episode and go out exploring. Um, nothing too major, but there are a few question marks in the starting biomes that I still kind of want to, you know, clear out. And uh, hopefully we'll, you know, get a few of those knocked out. Um, okay, there's a little bit of a section here that we're missing. Alright, looks good. Uh, and I think everything's all sorted in here as well. So we definitely need more chandeliers. I feel like this place is a little bit too dark so definitely gonna need to put in a lot of lighting. And yeah, from here I suppose we want to start thinking about uh, how to get some sunlight in, uh, so, you know, we're probably gonna have to maybe replace some of the, um, some of the pieces here with the window pieces. And we may end up having to move some of these anyway, but it's okay. Just gonna get rid of the snapping there and yeah let's see. So if we do have a piece here it'll be one away from the door I think. Like so which means we probably want to replicate that. So something like that, but I reckon we can fit in another one potentially, so... Yeah, maybe something like that. Again, we're not completely invested in that. We can always change it later on down the track. Let's get rid of that and yeah let's put it where we said that we want to put it so over there looking good but we do need to now replace the upper sections so just gonna quickly do that door frame so this piece is actually called door frame I'm not entirely sure why It just seems like a smaller wall piece to me. Okay, cool. Uh, so getting a little bit of sunlight in, which is nice. Uh, we probably want to repeat the process on this side somehow. So, um, maybe I don't want to rush into that just yet because I do sort of envisage having some kind of a kitchen. What is this doing here? Um, let's just 
get rid of that. Oh, um, I did not mean to do that. Yes, uh, that's sort of given us a rough, cracked look, which uh, it is something that I am aware of. I haven't exactly implemented any of that sort of stuff in our builds so far. But yeah, I'm just going to get rid of that and then replace it because I um, want things looking relatively clean. Just going to double check that we haven't gone out of bounds here. I don't think we have. Brilliant. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. I think the kitchen area is probably going to be, like, here. Um, again, it's not going to be like some crazy kitchen like we did um, in the previous home. But, you know, it's still going to be a kitchen nonetheless. And I'm thinking with that, we probably want some kind of a chimney, right? So if you recall how we did it last time, uh, then obviously there is going to be a section, uh, there's going to be a section of the home on this side that uh, we need to again carve out and then put a chimney in. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go on that front. Um, which means we probably want to just like put in some uh, windows and stuff around this side of the house instead of that side because again, things are unconfirmed. Uh, a lavatory, probably. Maybe we'll get a lavatory sort of like in the corner here, or maybe we don't even need the lavatory in, in this uh, level. Maybe we can do it um, when we start building up. But yeah, let's get more windows in. So I reckon just one window on this section here. Is that center? I'm actually not entirely sure now. Oh, I've used the wrong piece anyway. My bad. Decent, decent, all right. Um, and over this side. Okay, a little bit tricky getting this in. Uh, okay. Well, there's no need for another in that space because we're already getting into the side of the mountain, it seems. pretty decent. We can get, obviously, um... actual doors and stuff into these spaces. And we probably should start thinking about the second story. But, uh, I reckon that's enough building for now. We might 
continue on with the episode and do a little bit more exploring, see what we can find out there. Uh, farm's looking good, obviously we haven't really harvested for a while, but uh, I'm thinking of just doing a little bit of harvesting now. Um, and we'll replant a whole bunch of stuff. So we've got a bit more rubos there. I'm sort of hoping to make a whole bunch of rubos tea. So let's see if we've got more rubos seeds. Rubos seedlings, 40 of them. Plenty. Yeah, let's get this in. Yeah, I've decided to maybe just see if we can freeform some of this stuff like we do in Valheim. And, um, that way, you know, it might not be exactly spaced, but I feel like we can achieve something that looks even nicer. Can rotate some of these, the plants as well. We want them to not look too... You, um, sorry, two identical to each other. But anyway, should have a bunch of rubos coming up. Uh, we probably do need a bit of water and stuff to make some rubos tea. So I'm just gonna... Oh, actually, we do have water or a water um, well. May as well take from that. Only five though, but... I think one should be enough for one tea, right? So, let's see. Yep, so, this gives us, I forget, uh, item info, plus three endurance, plus seven stamina recharge. That's not bad, instead of the health regen. So, I just gotta be aware of that. I think five is enough. Uh, I'll put the Rubos seedlings back in place. And yeah, the actual Rubos, I'm gonna see if we have a space for stuff like that. Yeah, I guess it can go in here. Why not? Ooh, uh, ammonia glands. I just wanna transfer these into here and we'll just start processing more leather I do have a few other bits and pieces that should go into storage actually so I have to think of it yeah and a few other bits and pieces here so that can go there and the blocks that we're using for construction I'll also throw those in here along with the dirt don't think I'll really need the rake while we're out there exploring, so I'll just leave the rake behind. I think we're looking good, to be honest, so um, let's think about where we want to go. And if we sort of look back at the Springlands and the Revelwood, uh, there are a few question marks here. So uh, this is the music sheet location. Again, I have no idea what uh, music sheets do for us. Ectoplasm Press for the Collector, so this is maybe another Hollow Halls, <laughs> which might be a bit of a challenge. Uh, this one, I have no idea what that is, but I think maybe we should start with the Music Sheet first. Uh, so let's set that as a waypoint. I think we might even be able to like float ourselves there from our base. Doesn't seem too far-fetched. There's another question mark there, Fish's Tail. 
It is in the shroud though, so gotta keep that in mind. And another question mark near Pike's, uh, I forget the name of this place. Uh, Pike Mead's Reach. So, good thing we have a spawn point from there, so we can uh, check that out. And then there are these question marks, I have no idea how to actually get there. Possibly from the Highlands. So if we go this way and uncover these spots from the Highlands, maybe. So yeah, plenty of question marks to still uh, look at, but let's start with that music sheet. So, uh, obviously going to go in with some foods here, so let's get to that. Let's increase our damage as well, always like that. Uh, and yeah, this is the way right here. A lot of shroud. Um, so it's past the shrouded area. Can we get there? I suppose it's just towards that side. Hmm. Let's try our best to get to the the bridge right here. We don't really need to fight these guys, I don't think, so we can just run past these guys. I'm a little bit curious about what this cave is. I simply don't recall the cave being here, but uh, maybe I've just simply missed it. So, oh, okay, a bit of flint. It could be a decent vein, but if we need some flint, then this is a decent spot to get it as well. So, uh, whoops. Let's just create a marker. We'll use these ones, I'm going to try and use these ones for minerals and stuff that we can mine. Um, I think I've just been like using a generic like bag looking icon. So yeah, um, I don't know if I'll retroactively go back and sort of change all of these ones. But if, if we do happen to go out there and we need to resource from it, then um, I can always make those changes then and there. I just don't remember what all of them are. I, I have a clue of where certain things are at, like the um, the copper ores, for example, which is something that we normally get from the mines. Uh, I do want to tag this again. We're almost there. A lot of wolves here. Now if they want to mess with us, they'll have to catch up to us. <laughs> it's actually quite a few. Um, Fort Kelvin. Okay. Uh, they're, they're still coming for us. <laughs> I guess I did have to just like deal with them because they would be a pain in the bum if we didn't do anything. Grab all of that and yeah where is this place? Maybe is it downstairs? I'm not really seeing the icon uh, anywhere so it is sometimes a little bit difficult trying to follow waypoints because um, sometimes it actually says where it is exactly and sometimes it doesn't. I hear 
stuff going on. Maybe there's like rats or something, or maybe there's still some other enemies underneath. Or maybe even like the hollow or something. Oh no, okay, got rats. Might activate this as well. Follow the melody. So the other problem that we do have is um, I don't actually have a, um, an available, uh, a flame altar slot, right? So I can't really put a flame altar down to respawn in this area. Uh, we did get an indication there that the location is apparently above us, so probably not in the right spot, but we'll just quickly check on what's going on down here. And how did we not get any books out of that? <laughs> not really anything interesting in here, it seems. Uh... Be able to just get out here and I guess maybe it's the next house. Don't mind if I do. Uh yeah, okay. So there's no way up from in here. I have to try and find another way in. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm looking at the long, uh, the wrong quest here. This is follow the melody, and then this is music sheets. Uh, to play music, you need to know songs. Learn to play songs by finding music sheets scattered throughout towns and taverns. You can find one music sheet in the Springlands, one in the Revelwood, two in Nomad Highlands, and two in the Kindle Wastes. Right. Okay. So I need to learn them, but. I didn't recall seeing a way for us to actually consume the item. 
Anywho, uh, there should be one here, right? So, um, let me just double check. This is active, right? Why is it giving me another objective somewhere else? Just making sure that there's no attic that we can go into. There's waypoint reached. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Fleeting melody. Sorry, fle fleeting memory, rather. Uh, no, don't need that. Um, nothing I'm really interested in. Yeah, we didn't really go through here. Oh, actually, no, we did. We did go through here. I just missed um, the fact that we needed to go up that way. All right, very good. Um, so that's clear. But now I'm actually curious to see what we can do here. Um, music sheets teach you a new song once picked up. You don't need to keep the sheet in your inventory to play the song. Gifting it to others will enable them to learn the song too. So that's for multiplayer, I'm guessing, but, um, hmm. I'm not entirely sure how the music sheets work, but, um, I might actually go offline and check on that, because I am curious. Perhaps maybe there's an emote that allows you to play some music, um, and yeah, I'm not entirely sure even how to do normal emotes and stuff, but just having a look at other question marks that we might want to hit up in this relative area. There's another one over here, another music sheet, so... Let's set that as a waypoint, and it's very close to our spawn point at the copper mines, so it should be easy for us to, to get there, you would think. Yeah, it should be down there somewhere. Or <laughs> maybe not exactly down here, maybe... Yeah, maybe it's up that ledge there. Try and find a way up. Mark this down like so. Uh, all the clay that we can find in the area. Ah yes, okay, I remember this building. This is like a, a very big tavern, isn't it? Was sort of considering whether or not this place was going to be our base. Okay, I'm surprised that we haven't found this before, but it's probably a thing that has only been introduced in, you know, some kind of an update or a recent update. But anyway, cup runneth over. Nice. Okay. Done and dusted. Uh, it is a little bit dark, isn't it? So I'm thinking maybe we want to head back. And uh, we'll try and have a sleep before we decide to 
go back out and do more exploring, so let's go ahead and do that. I wonder if it's a little early though to have a sleep. Yeah, I'm not getting the the speed up. Right. I'm thinking maybe we can make a start on the second story floor. Uh, I'm sort of trying to achieve something similar with what we've got going on here. Just trying to remember what sort of floor we used. It could potentially be the same pieces that we're, um, we're carrying here, the half-timbered block. Alright, well, <laughs> I didn't really manage to achieve much there. And suddenly it's just extremely dark. So, let's have a sleep. Throw that back in there, and uh, I'm just gonna quickly check on how the floor looks. Yeah, alright. Um, is this the right one? I'm having trouble remembering now. Um, okay, we might need to do a bit more experimentation on the right uh, floor type. But um, in terms of what I want to do, it's it's going to be very similar, like we're going to have a, a slightly bigger floor space on the top because we're making it out of wood or half timbered wood um, and half timbered block rather. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm just trying to check the aesthetic on the outside. Does it look the same? I suppose the reason why this looks a little bit different is because the the walls themselves, these fancy walls, they give you that timber look on the top as well. So yeah, we don't really need to replicate that exactly though. Anyway, uh, let's do a little bit more exploring because... I think um, that's probably an appropriate use of our time in this episode. So there is this question mark. I am concerned about reaching that spot because um, there's a lot of shroud here. And I can't recall if we have actually been there. I have a feeling we may have tried to go there before and didn't really have too much success. This seems like perhaps maybe a... oh no, it, it actually has a name. Cavern Curiosities. Hmm. Let's try for this and see where we get to. That's curious. I wonder why I can't tag this. Anyway, we do have a spawn point here. It is near a flame sanctum. I'm tempted to also get rid of this spawn point. So that we can then be free to place another one down. 
just sort of um, thinking here. Uh, maybe I'll leave it for now. It, it might still be useful. Yeah, we want to go in this general direction. Sounds coming from down there. <laughs> Doesn't exactly instill confidence. Right. Let's do it. Passage to the Blackmire is what it's called. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and we're out of the shroud. That's that's quite nice. All right, let's uh, explore a tiny bit. And look, um, considering we don't have a flame altar, and I am now regretting that I didn't break down the the flame altar that we spawned from, but um, we might have to restart this little section. Or I can do it off camera. Um, but yeah. This seems like an interesting place to start exploring. I don't think we've pushed this far... ...north. What is this thing? Is that some kind of a trap? Got more copper here. Can mark that down, maybe. Okay, it's just a, a mini jump pad, trampoline. What does worry me though is whether or not some of the enemies in this area might be a bit of a challenge. Hmm. Is this the Blackmire, or what's the deal? And I have no idea what the Blackmire is, to be honest. It looks like some kind of a pond area. See some kind of enemy there. Maybe some kind of a wyvern, even? So that could be a bit of a challenge to deal with. Ooh, we've got tar here. Okay, alright. <laughs> could have died there. So I assume we just cannot stay in this tar for too long. But I guess if we keep jumping though, we can easily get out. So it's not the end of the world, unlike stepping into lava. Oh yes, there there is something there, that's for sure. I would like to attract one just to see what these things are about. Because, um... I sort of want to know how to fight these things. I want to draw one to... to dry land. 
Level 15. Is it coming this way? I don't know. I don't hear the battle music either, so... <laughs> Yeah, they do um, submerge and re-emerge in different locations. And they don't seem interested in getting out of the tar. I'm not entirely sure what the deal is there. I think the risk of drowning is probably the, the killer here, not exactly this monster. <laughs> drying rack. Okay, cool. So we'll check that out when we get back. Uh, but you know what guys, I think this is probably a good place for us to take a break. We'll come back and I think we'll uh, start the next episode from here. I know I have a bit of backtracking. I might do that off camera uh, and then we'll just start things from here. I might even uh, break down the flame altar that we have nearby so we can essentially move it closer to this area, because uh, if we're fighting a lot of these reptiles here, then, um, you know, we could die, and we could have a need for respawning in this area. Anyway, cheers for watching guys, chuck us a like if you enjoyed it, otherwise a subscription maybe, or some comments, but anyway, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.